show today. It is a little bit of a tight show, and it's fine. You know, since we have Zach here, and he alluded to it earlier, we did have the first round of the ACC tournament right. happen yesterday. <laughs> uh, we had Pittsburgh and Wake Forest and North Carolina and Virginia Tech. Both of them, who I picked, they came out winners. So, so far, so good. Right. Uh, I felt strongly, I felt stronger about the North Carolina pick over Virginia Tech than I did the Pittsburgh over Wake Forest because I didn't know which Wake Forest team was going to show up. Mm -hmm. If it was going to be the Wake Forest team that showed up against Duke, took them to double overtime because that's a very skilled Duke team, uh, or if it was going to be the Pittsburgh team that had North Carolina's number all year. And uh, and Pittsburgh just was able to, to come out in the end. So Pittsburgh and NC State, I believe, play today. Clemson's playing right now. Clemson's playing right now. Mm -hmm. Who are they playing? I, I don't know what matchup they're playing against. Is it Georgia Tech? It may be. Because it Zach, might pull it up. Because Georgia Tech's fifth. They're not part of the top four. And if the top fours all get buys, then yeah, it would be a would be Georgia Tech. Uh, if they, wow, they let they're still playing in the ACC tournament. Though? No, no, they 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 did no postseason play. Let's look here, guys. Georgia Tech went no postseason play, Clemson, so they can't even play in the ACC tournament. Clemson no. beat Miami. Oh, yeah. Miami. Okay, eight nine. Okay. Uh, NC State is the five seed playing number 13, Pittsburgh. Okay. At 2 o'clock. Uh, yep. Is that tell the time? 223. Uh, number seven, uh, Notre Dame, Boston College, number 10 at seven. And then Syracuse and the Tar Heels at nine o'clock. I don't like that it's a nine o'clock late night game. I don't like that it's on the ACC network. <laughs> That's the only way you can watch I know, it? Right. Yes. It's not even on like ESPN. No. They it, were playing the, the scrub uh, tourneys last night. So I missed it. Uh, uh, I was aggravated. You should just watch everything on Channel Three. I don't yeah. understand. I, mean, I don't understand why they wouldn't be like this because, is the ACC tournament. I don't because they're making money off. The, I, now, what I heard is like the third round when they get to the bigger stuff, it's going to transfer over to the CBS or, or wherever. That's the dumb. That's I'm gonna be honest. Just put it bluntly. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard of. Yep, it's, it's <laughs> not <laughs> put not putting a big time tournament like that. Even the games just on your major networks. Uh, I, I mean, do think. Uh, what else is happening on a, on a Wednesday night in sports? Really, like sp there's sp spring training baseball still. Free agency is not till next week for the for football. Oh, you then, might have a like, Appalachian State football game one day on a Wednesday or Thursday, right, Kevin? Ah, uh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we were talking about that uh, yesterday about how bad uh, if Appalachia would win the XFL championship. Yeah. I mean, I said they would. Um, but no, I think uh, you talk about the the tourney. <laughs> Yeah, uh, this is the Tar Heels' only shot at getting into the, to the big tourney. I think they were the the lowest seed in this tournament. It's probably the first time that's ever happened. Uh, but this team that's in the tournament right now is not the team that's been playing all year. That's been horrible. Uh, Brandon Robinson's playing great. He he played awesome last night. If they can jail and win these five games and get into the big tournament, uh, <laughs> Roy might save his job. Well, Clemson won by five. Roy's job is safe for now, <laughs> this year. Let's be. Not if let's, I was the. Not if I was the guy. Yeah, Fire not him. if you were the AD. Yeah, I know that. Fire him. Uh, Fire Roy. That's me. Well, Has Andy the other hashtag day said, Fire Roy. He gets a couple of chances, and I, I was like, well, this is one of them. Uh, so his coach, his coach K gets a couple of chances too. Um, my argument for both of them was, I mean, they're both over seven years old now, right? Uh, Roy sixty-seven. Sixty-seven. Jeez. Uh, I think Dean was. <clears throat> 65 or 6 when he retired. Was it? So, I mean, it's it really I mean, right on it. I, I it, Not to get off on a side note, but I think Roy's always been able to to, to uh, recruit. And uh, X's and O's, I'm not the big X and O's. He does run up and down the floor. I don't have no problem with that. Uh, I would rather. 66 is when Dean retired. He was 66 years old. So, yeah, but even then, the running up and down the court, Duke perfected that this year against North Carolina in the yep. second part. Like they basically used what Roy Williams against wants them. to do against them, mm -hmm. and they ran it perfectly because mm -hmm. Vernon Carey is a better running big than Baycott and Garrison Brooks put together. I think if Baycott comes, I was watching him play the other day. It was yeah. in the, uh, it was in the Duke game. He actually played really good in the Duke game. The second one or the first one? The, the second, second one. The second one he played really good. He just what, got in foul trouble. Foul him, trouble and, him, him and Garrison got in foul trouble. Yeah. Uh, they both played really good. Uh, we can, if we can keep those guys in the starting lineup, we give a lot of people problems. Garrison Brooks is having his best season by far. Oh, by uh, far. And um, I think he's developed way more than he ever I ever thought he would uh, on, on the offensive end. Um, and the Baycott, um, he come out highly touted. Uh, I don't think he needs to go to the NBA. I think it'd be a very bad decision. I, I don't think. Money, he, I don't money. think he does. 
Uh, if he stays with us and we get that recruiting class in next year, we could be really dangerous. Uh, I just hope we, I do hope we make the ACC or uh, NCAA tournament this year. Uh, if we don't, I'd like to at least have a good run ACC tournament, at least uh, play the championship game. See, this is what this was the cool stat that I wanted to bring up. So you said Brandon Robinson played spe- spectacularly he, well, he played and, pretty good. And, and Brandon Robinson has played very good when he's been able to be on the floor this year. Yeah. You know, it just sucks that this team as a whole, including him, has been injury ridden. They have, but, you know, we they've never they haven't played many games except maybe a handful at full strength. There's even really not even because the backup Harris has a torn ACL and he's out for the whole season yeah, you got uh, at the point guard position. So Cole, but, but, Cole didn't play no, a yeah. lot. Uh, Baycott uh, turned his ankle really bad. Uh, Garrison was even out one for a few games. Brandon Robinson. Uh, so here it was UNC, so North Carolina last night, was plus 32 in 30 minutes with Brandon Robinson on the court yeah. and minus 10 in the 10 minutes he was on the bench. And uh, he, he might be... Uh, is Garrison a senior? Brooks? Um, I'm not sure. I, I, I he know might be, a He might be a junior. I think I think him and Brooks is both seniors. I could be wrong about that, but we need both of them on the court. Um, and like I said, I, I believe we could make a run. Uh, you were talking about Syracuse. Syracuse yeah. is going to be a, a, a tough draw on that. They have been. Uh, they might have been ranked number one sometime this season. I know they was up to three uh, in, in, in the nation. So uh, that'll be a good test. I do think we have the talent to beat them. Uh, but we need to hit some threes. Yeah, it says he's a junior. Uh, Brooke, Garrison uh, Brooks is well, listed it, as an, a junior. Gosh, as a junior, could you imagine bringing him back next year? Baycott back next year. Cole's not coming back. I think um, we've established that Cole's not coming. I mean, back. I don't think he should. I mean, he's going to be a, a top five pick. I don't uh, know about I don't top agree five. With it. I think he'll be a top ten. Definitely a top he, ten. Um, I, I think too many people are making better cases than he is. Um, I think the thing that's that the the gripe that I have on him. Mm-hmm. Um, is that he takes on the world. He he likes to play one on five a lot of times. That I think, uh, but to me, I think his <coughs> game, like that game, will translate a lot better to a more spread out offense in the NBA. He he's like, and a, he'll have more talent around him. So maybe he doesn't. Because to me, what it is with Cole Anthony, I think he just feels like, well, for us to even have an opportunity to win this game, I have to score twenty points. Whereas at the NBA level, he's going to have NBA, you know, obviously NBA caliber players around him. He's not going to have to go out and maybe score twenty to win. He could maybe, as a rookie, be able to get you know twelve to fifteen. I think, and and, the, and he doesn't force it as much. Thinking that. If you if you line both of them up, him and uh, Kobe White, I think he's just a little bit less talented than Kobe White. Played very similar. No, I think Kobe White is spectacular. I, I do too. I thought I I really wish he would have stayed. Um, but no, I, I I'm glad he that. didn't because he's t- absolutely tearing oh, he it is. up in Chicago. He is. He got his first career start yesterday for Chicago. Dropped 20 points and they won against Cleveland. I yep. I know Cleveland's bad, but in his start, I mean, he was doing a very good job. I, he's like. Five or six games straight with 20-plus points. Yep. So uh, there's no question that Kobe White can score. And there's no question that Cole Anthony can score. I think the main question is his shot selection. And that, right. and I, to me, it comes back down to he feels like he has to do it all or at least try and do pick up a lot of slack to pick up for where Roy Williams says they're not quite as talented. Really, the best games that we have, though, Garrison Brooks is putting up 25, almost 30 points from the paint. Baycott's getting down there, getting maybe 12, and then you're only asking Cole Anthony to get maybe 15. Like He's not out there trying to drop the 20 See, and the 30 points that he did earlier in we, the uh, season. We won last night by 22. Yes. And Cole had 10 points. Um, mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure he had, he had quite a few <laughs> turnovers. He had like four, right? It didn't say here. It's saying 10 points, 8 rebounds. Um, Baycott, 12 points, 11 rebounds. Garrison Brooks, 12 points, only four rebounds. Um, Brandon Robinson was 17 points. He had about 15 in the first quarter, so he must have slowed down uh, tremendously in the second quarter. Uh, but like I said, we're up by 22 uh, on the win, mm-hmm. and uh, we'll see what we can do today against uh, Syracuse. I think uh, we can uh, match up very well against Syracuse. Syracuse is only 17 and 14. North if you Co- just give us the the – the close games this year. I mean, you, oh, it's it a winning seven, record. Yeah, seven, seven wins that you would be uh, twenty-one and eleven. That's a much better record. That's a much better record eight. than what it shows. North Carolina is favored by three in this game tonight against Syracuse uh, and the NC State uh, game that is getting ready to come up here in a little while as well. I just had it in front of me. NC State is favored by five and a half over Pittsburgh. 
Uh, to me, though, Syracuse is always going to be a tough out, no matter who you th- like, yeah. whether it's in the ACC tournament regular season or in the NCAA tournament because of that zone. They are they just have mastered how to run that zone defense. Boheim, that is his bread and butter, and they're going to have some sort of shooters. Their perimeter shooters always can kill a team. That's what keeps them in the games. So I, this is going to be a tough battle. I believe North Carolina can beat them because the last time they played them, North Carolina did win, and that was at Syracuse. So that was a really big win for North Carolina. Right now, though, I'm just gonna I, I'm just gonna t- leap of faith. North Carolina wins today against Syracuse, and it, and at least advances. And to me, that would be, you know, a huge for how the season has gone to at least make it to the third round of the ACC tournament. When a lot of people would look at a North Carolina team that finishes last in the ACC and would not give them any chance in the world to get out of the first round. I think they, uh, they've they got confidence right now. Cole, uh, Anthony, Cole Anthony said, right, they're playing like a top 10 yeah. team in the nation right now. I don't I don't think they're playing. I don't, I don't I, think, I think he's a little bit off a little bit on that. You got to have least confidence. Top 20. Yeah. They're, they're, they're confident. They they won their, their three before they lost to Duke. They had won three in a row. Uh, they got beat by Duke. And then uh, we've won this game by 22. Um if they can get – momentum changes everything. I remember one year where Syracuse made a run. They had a horrible team and wound up getting an NCAA tournament um, because they got such a good run in the ACC tournament. For us, as bad as we are this year, we're going to have to win the ACC tournament to have a chance to get Yeah, got to get the automatic bid. Yeah. And what's going to be tough is what happens to North Carolina if they don't make the NCAA uh, I, I, I don't even think they'll make the NIT if they don't. That's, I mean, that's the question. Uh, what, so what do they even get an invite? To, the um, to me, if North Carolina can beat Louisville in the third round and move on to the semifinals, that would be the highlight of the season easily. that would be like, all right, you've reached your peak. If you get past this, you're just over-exceeding expectations. So, and, and it's crazy to think that because a lot of people's expectations that are Tar Heel fans – it's ACC champions in either the regular season or in the tournament, and then we're making a run when it comes to NCAA tournament time. Sweet 16, lead eight. So, back down year, uh, injuries riddled, and uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, got a good recruiting class coming in next year, and then we'll see what happens next year. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, um, I was looking at Billis's, um his Billis index, mm-hmm. and he's making the case that the selection sh- committee should go ahead – and name the teams now that are already before in. the conference tournament starts, <laughs> and then replace them with you'd replace them with the conference yeah, champion if something changes. He said they already. He said because they're do it, they do it off the regular season anyway, and not mm-hmm. the conference tournament. So right. they already, for the most part, pretty much know the top sixty-eight teams. And he was saying that they should go ahead and, and produce those, and then the the weekend will be all about just teams that aren't in. That we would already know, mm-hmm. and then that we would they're be like, fighting, "Hey, they're the fighting Carolina to has to win this to get yeah. to to get in." Yeah. And even if the Car- if the Tar Heels win the tournament, where do they get put at? Are they a twelve? Probably. If they win the ACC tournament, yeah. and get in a twelve five uh, mm, matchup. Mm. What's the lowest ACC's I, ever been? Have they ever 12? been a twelve? Uh, State's been a twelve. 11, I think 11 11 been the lowest. Here's, here's lowest. the thing, I was about to think. What was State when they won the national? It wouldn't surprise me if North Carolina winning the ACC like tournament six. as it bad as bad as, as, many as, bad as North Carolina's been this year wouldn't surprise me if they got a play in game. I don't think you can put Carolina in that. <laughs> you talking about that that first? I'm telling. First I'm telling you. Oh, they would destroy whoever. It is ACC a, it is a usually lose, gets a one seed. They would yeah, usually. <laughs> it would be a losing. It would be a losing record. North Carolina team getting in just because they got hot at the right time. Yeah. How could you not put them in at a sixteen seed if you were going to replace them with someone that has a winning record at a twelve or eleven seed? There's no way people would lose get, their what if they mind. Jump up and get a five seed if they went ACC tournament. It would be a, a well, mutiny. Would that that awesome. stuff would matter though. Yeah, it would like match if you up actually wise. played at home. But they play on the road in five twelve. If you think about it, Zach, it's the the twentieth best of, against the forty eighth best team. Yeah. Now, and they're pretty even. <laughs> That's about to say. Now, here's either. the question, seriously, because we're what two weeks away from NCAA first rounds are getting ready to start up. 